Right, if we look at these then, buddy. Just to go back to that one there, you came down a bit steep. You weren't steep, okay? You hit the ground behind the ball yeah. just because you, shot, you bottomed out. Yeah. You dropped in this way, but you weren't... It wasn't, yeah, exactly. Was, it wasn't steep with it shoulders. Was it was, exactly, yeah. It was the underneath shoulder. But we're going to look at now in terms of path. Your efficiency is lost when your club swings that way. The shaft gets outside the ball. You swing across it. That's when you are steep. And if you look at this left down one here now when you swing back... Okay, back's in there now. That right shot is a bit more active than we want to. As you come in the it's golf ball there, you can exactly you can see the shaft the here now is outside the golf ball. You can still strike it reasonably well, as in hit the middle of the club face. Yeah. It might feel good off the club face, but what will happen is that ball's going to sort of go, and they might end up on the target. Yeah. So you'll see a ball ending up in line, but you lose exactly. It's been very high, very short, and losing yardage, and the potential to hit the ground behind the ball. I mean, this time of year has been no useless, okay? So having that kind of foam finger there, now your path has to come more from this direction. Again, all you were trying to do there was just purely fair. You weren't trying to swing in to out. You're trying to swing the club shallower to go underneath that foam finger. And as a result of that happens, when you come back to impact now, we can see the shaft now is coming in from the left side of the golf ball. So the shaft here now yeah. is on the correct side of the golf ball. Whereas this one here, the shaft is outside the golf ball. That's a much more efficient hit. Mm. So when the golf ball is struck there now, the ball strikes it, the ball hits pretty much dead centre of the white line. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then it's going to fly. Left arm coming up too high? Left arm, a little bit slightly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but why, that, that's why, but that's thinking, why your that's release... Why, that's why I'm bouncing back. I'm exa not. Exactly, yeah. Because that's your release patterns that you had to have, yeah? Yeah. So you're holding on to the club face. When you did that T drill, yeah, and the T was up in front of you there, yeah. then your left arm would have folded up correctly, okay? So it's practicing with that more, I would say, with that T pointing up, just as a feeling. Don't it balls it so much, maybe just get that sensation yeah. of the arm sort of swinging that way rather than you trying to pull and lift it. Okay, mate, but get that underneath. You're thinking of shallow, not inside, but shallow will be inside, yeah? The way you try to swing from in to out, you just end up shoving it 50 yards right, which is no good to anybody, okay? Well, I don't want to come around there. No, 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 no. You want the chest looking up there? Well, it's yeah, ex it's extension up towards, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when I get to there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, mate, makes sense? Oh, sure, cheers,